So one thing uh, I would like to grumble about in this game, everybody has the exact same face. Kind of. Oh, like, I've seen the same... Stay out of sight. Same face, same Agent lines over and over Mr. again. Mr. Churchill to the front desk, please. Okay, so he hangs out in here? Really? Uh, first... Where was the other safe that I that I missed? I don't remember. I got your medals. Thank you. You don't know what these mean to me. To know this some of his fault. To know that I fought. You're probably too young to remember. We used to talk in those days. In '42, we threw them back into the sea, and they came back in '43. It weren't the same. I hate to be a bother, but the card to get across the bridge? Right. Oh, of course, yeah. Sorry. Forgive an old man his memories. Well, good luck. I've got this key card, and I can power up the gate with the power cell. I guess I'm ready to cross the bridge. But yeah, straight up, like... Best every single, every single, I think there's only like a handful of variations between faces. And that's going to bug me over the course of this game. Because I bet we're going to get into the next area and it's pretty much only going to be the same couple of faces. Like I can't, I can't blame them too much for, you know, some of these de decisions. I don't know. I... I want to be forgiving of indie games, but sometimes, like, you have to cut back on your scope if you know you can't make these things. So instead of having these, like, big open world levels, I actually would have preferred a totally linear game. No crafting or survival, just make it, you know, level to level or something like that. Fix my suit. Yeah. Well, I don't want to fix my suit, I want to make a new suit. Do I have enough? Yeah, I do. Okay, so now I can now I can switch back and forth between what are you? Vending machine. Let me see. Buy stuff. So food, duct tape, rubber duck, bandage, flash. Nice to see you. Okay, we've gotta we've gotta <gasps> do this. What's this? Bloody hell, I'd forgotten about the revolvers. If I go through without taking my joy, I'm gonna get spanked. I better run like hell when it lets me out. Oh dear. Okay, well it doesn't look like anybody's coming. One bridge down, and I'm off to the train station. Do we have anything else? Nope. And nobody's coming to check it out either. Oh. This is where we hang them, isn't it? They broke into the police station, tried to burn the register so the Germans wouldn't know which kids to take. We didn't want the Germans to be angry, did we? We were so scared, or maybe just so tired, so we hanged them to encourage the others. I wonder if we'd made the Germans take the kids by force instead of bringing them down to the station singing London Bridge if things would be different now. <gasps> oh. I hope that's the worst thing I remember. Says the chap heading to the train station. Oh, what lovely memories are waiting for me there. At least I can get on the train tracks there and get the hell out of town. No, I just need to find the train station. I want to be able to see it from a distance. Okay. We should probably save.
Is that a Bobby or a guard or man, I don't even know. Please Wait. don't struggle. Who are who is this man? He looks like one of the It looks like one of the the head boys. Why are they here? Are are we where are we? Dig spot. Okay, find the at hatch. So are we still in wow, how giant is this map? It is considerably larger than I was expecting it would be. I uh Alright, sure. What's this used for? Nope, that's that's pure decoration. Okay, well we should go find that hatch first. Let's see, oh no, he's gone choke out crazy. I uh N is for no survivors. And like It'll be a lot easier in this game if there's there's no bobbies around. <coughs> Wait, it's nothing personal. isn't this the guy that I just choked out? No. What? Huh? Or did he just pick back? Did he get get back up, or is? I'm so confused. Just or... relax. Don't question it. Okay, well let's drop him. He found the other one. Well, that's fine. Oh, Dermot Crutchley versus Dermot Elliot. How many bobbies are there? He like kind of glitch almost turned around. That was weird. Yeah, so there there are multiple guards around here. Yeah, this is Nigel Care. I don't know when they wake up. I wonder if uh is this can you come depopulate to? like a whole area? Like, I'm probably not going to. Uh, who knows? I'm just suddenly kind of curious. It's like, could you just slowly, tacitly take out every Bobby on the map? Would that work? Because if it works, that'd be kind of amazing. I broken. Yeah, but like... I don't know. I'm definitely the kind of person to do weird shit like that. Just to make my life mildly easier. Waste a ton of time. But make my life mildly easier. Okay, so there... There should be a hatch around here? Okay, hatches, hatches in this building. Mastermind. Oh, is this uh is this a house that we were supposed to head to if we were being guided by what's his face? Odd. <gasps> Why are there cables coming out of that painting? Why does that bookshelf look like it doesn't quite fit? I wonder if it's some sort of secret door. Gas mask? Oh boy. Okay. Stuff in here. Huh. I'm assuming we can't do anything to that immediately, though. 
Maybe oh. there's another window I can get through. I want to put that on. Yeah, I should probably put it on. I'm assuming it doesn't have a durability. Okay, uh, let's see. Nope, it does have durabil durability meter. Alright. Now, I assume the gas mask... The gas mask will only break if we're actually going through gas. Okay, you don't actually need it here. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like the durability is dropping. Uh, let's see. See if the durability's gone down. I think. Fine. Can I take those off? No. <laughs> yeah, no, durability hasn't gone down. I'll take it off until gas starts showing up. Because it's misty, yeah. I can't do anything to any of this. Painting. Okay. I'm a little blind. All the time. I wonder oh. if it's powered by that switch in the other room. I don't know what the puzzle is supposed to be, but uh, this is fine. All right, so we got another shelter to check out. Creepy. Okay, so another vending machine. Oh, we gotta power the hatch area. Uh, we're supposed to power the area, but uh, hi. Uh, some of the like the radio is still going. Ow, that was a bit bright. Okay, blueprint for a pointy stick. Upgrade workbench. Requires mechanical upgrade kit. Yeah, I don't have one of those. Blueprint, proper shoes. I already found some of those, so... So we can upgrade these. Okay, so blueprint, dart. And there's also the chemistry set. Blueprint, the help. Okay, so chemistry set will let me make probably some more healing items, maybe? Or maybe I gotta go get some more, uh, the help. Oh, I see. Just more weapons that I probably don't need. Turn off the radio. I always just turn radios off in every game I ever play. Doesn't matter what it is, I'll always turn it off. So another disposable safe cracker, caltrops. Oh, there was a there was a safe that I I didn't open up in the previous area. Any of you guys remember where it was? Because we could go back for that in a bit. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, let's see. So to inventory, place all crafting components. Okay, and let's take a look at weapons. So I certainly don't need... Oh. I certainly don't need all of these uh, spare weapons. We want the shovel, though. Use the mask in the head boy's room with the purple gas. Probably, yeah. Okay, so we've got some Jimmy bars. I'm going to hold on to those. These, they have weights. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put away a bunch of the bottles. I don't want to put away all of them, as they are my only ranged weapon and fairly effective, mind you. But I shouldn't be carrying around that many. Okay, food. We don't need the rotten potatoes. Tea, scotch, rotten onion, rotten carrots. I'll mostly live off of blue currant, probably. Anything else? We've got the food. I should use this. And nothing else. Perfect. 
Uh, let's see outfits. So it's a it's a two pound increase. Well, that's that's fine. Okay, so power's on. We can craft stuff. We can do things. Which means I can do this. Now I can come back here from any other hatch without anyone trying to kill me. The safe was in the top floor of the house where I beat up all the residents. Ah, that's where it was. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go back for that one. Wow, there's a lot of hatches too. Uh, let's see. Travel? Off we go. Hope to see that after ten pocket expansions. <laughs> you mean what? Uh, what Arthur would look like? Now entering Barrow Home. What interesting things you smell when you barely see. All right, cool. Oh, yeah. Got to get rid of this. We're all good. All right. Uh, let's see. So we know where we know where the other safe is. Let's quickly find our bearings. Bear a home hamlets over here. Yeah. So it looks like healing items are kind of infinite. I wonder. Uh, I wonder. Just how many items like respawn and how many things respawn in this game. Like, do enemies respawn? Do uh, do enemies respawn? Do like some metal resources respawn? Or <laughs> are you bleh. okay? That was weird. Or do they not? Do people walk back up? Oh. Get. Are these people back up and at them? No, they're they're still unconscious. Admittedly, I haven't slept yet. I wonder if I never sleep, if it actually um, if we don't have to worry about people respawning. I guess that'd be something to to test. Okay, so the, here's the other safe: sovereigns, lockpicks, Jimmy bars, caltrops, and darts. Not exactly that helpful. People get angry when you steal from their houses. I mean, they're they're quite unconscious, so. That's fine. See, I keep hearing about this game. Is it good so far? It's... It's interesting, to say the least. It feels like a game that had a really good premise and a really good, like, narrative designer. I wish I kept in shape. Oof. Uh, but the actual gameplay ends up coming off as... It's like... Almost there on so many accounts, I guess would be the word. Maybe. Because, like, the combat doesn't feel very good. The movement through the world doesn't feel very good. The giant open spaces that you just kind of have to run through that doesn't have anything in them. I, like, I understand that the, they're there to make it feel like a big city, but ultimately it just kind of ends up being flat. But kind of conversely, uh... I like the writing. I like the uh I like the writing. I like the high. I don't need to look at that. I like the writing. I like the uh the voice acting. The voice acting's been pretty good. There's the like lore is interesting. Oh, memories cowering from the bombs with mom, dad, and, and like the visual design of the areas are pretty cool. Like, it reminds me of kind of like an alternate, uh, Fallout 4. Or maybe not Fallout 4, but an alternate Fallout type game. It's also nice to play kind of one of these, like, creepy survival-ish games. Uh... That isn't, like, extra dark. Because they're- it's always so dark in these games, and it's- it's nice to play a game that isn't just, like, painfully dark through and through. It looks like the poppies are still unconscious. Yeah, so we might actually be able to, uh, just slowly eliminate, uh... Anybody and anything that, like, would potentially threaten me? I gotta figure out what the night-blooming non-suches are even for. But yeah, I, I'm very glad that they've totally gotten rid of the, um... That they've completely gotten rid of, like, the need to constantly feed yourself and sleep and whatnot. Like, I'm sure if I slept, it would actually give me a bo bonus that I could use. But I could probably live without it. At least for now. Bridge 
belongs to Raven's home. Okay, I'm gonna save before I go up to this one. It might start shooting. Can I... Simon says, take five steps back, turn around, and fuck off. I am serious. You've got five seconds to clear off my bridge, and then we'll kill you. Okay, we'll come back to that later and probably destroy these guys. Once we've done some quests, once we've met some people, so on and so forth. So I think the first thing I'm going to do whenever I get to a new area is probably just run the outskirts, see if there's any interesting buildings on the outside or so on and so forth. Grab some, uh, grab flowers. Always grab flowers. I mean, if I can have just infinite healing pace, I could potentially just tank everything. The sound design ain't bad. I think the main problem is there. There's on the plus hmm. side. I suppose now I know what I'm made of. I I guess ultimately I think a lot of the things wrong with this game are entirely the price point and the fact that it hasn't quite. It never quite went in the direction that people wanted it because their trailers made it seem like it was much more of a story game than than a survival. Uh, situation. It's not even that survivally. But like, so when you kind of see this, you're like, okay, yeah, this looks kind of neat. And then you look at the price tag and you're like, ugh. And so I think that's that's where it's getting slammed the hardest. This is not bad. And I, I like where they're going with it, but either they should have dropped the price uh, or they should have uh, they should have kept going with the development. But I'm I'm sure they're they're running out of funding or losing interest or stuff like that. I know that happened to Stonehearth. Stonehearth? That, like, uh, kind of town management game that I rather enjoyed, but was kind of buggy. They eventually just kind of gave up on it, and they're like, yeah, we're just putting it out as 1.0, and it's like, oh. I mean, I guess. Uh, I mean, it's, it's at least better than State of Decay 2. Or Extinction. Extinction was bad. But like this this reminds me of what I do in some of my Fallout challenges, you know. Effectively, you have to worry about feeding yourself, you have to worry about fighting enemies that are just about as dangerous as you are, and you know, there's stuff to explore and look around at. Like, that that is a feeling that I rather enjoy, and I'd love to see um I, I'd love to see in more games. But I think it's one of those that This game isn't isn't it yet. Kind of like how No Man's Sky is like conceptually a really cool idea and functionally it's getting there, but you know, when it came out it was most definitely one of those where it's like, yeah, this isn't this isn't good enough yet. So maybe it will get there. But I think, I'm assuming they're pretty much done with this after this point. This won't take a minute. Of course, Percy never cared much that he didn't fit in. I'm not sure he even knew what fitting in was. Yeah, I wonder if I rob all of these guys of their flimsy cricket bats, if they'll ever, um, if they'd be able to fight back. Like, if they do wake up, would they be able to attack me? I have no idea. Can you chuck them off the edge? Oh, That's an interesting look, question. It's not you, it's me. See, they have a season pass for sale, so they'll Sorry. probably have DLC. That'd be nice. Like, I'd love, to, I'd love to see, like, a mega patch in, like, a year or two that, uh... I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what they would add. Uh, really, the main thing is, I think it would have to be different than this. I will admit, uh... I, I'm going to throw this guy off the edge and see what happens. Um... I wonder if there's an achievement.
admittedly didn't really see him hit the water, but oh well. Yeah, so I can just totally uh, chuck them off the side. And it is suddenly dawn. Hello, sun. You are out and about. Hello, vagrant miscreant folks. All the food's going off. You Toys hardly have time, tiny time to eat it. At least we're alive. Right. Watch out for the ones with plague. Where are they the Americans? Sick, but then Where they are the Russians? Wild dogs. So okay. So, so that was confusing. Yeah, so it looks like people just kind of spawn at the beginning of the next day. So my bet is, even if I killed everybody in town, they'd respawn the next day, or if new just ones some would. Fucking game to you, isn't it? Am I my brother's keeper? Am I? Okay, well, let's just roll around looking at rubbish piles, and uh, slowly just kind of make our way for the center. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of objects of interest out here. Uh, there might be. I don't know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna kind of keep looking around. But yeah, I think things that would have made this game better would actually to have, if they had put it in like much smaller, tighter locations, and like hand designed neighborhoods. I don't know if this game's procedurally generated. Um, but if it is, that was a mistake. I, in general, I feel like if you're gonna have a story, don't do procedural generation. Uh, honestly, unless you're doing a roguelike, don't do procedural generation. Uh, it's, it's this, it's, yeah. Thought it was almost going to fall. Okay, yep. Uh, but unless you're doing like a roguelike, generally procedural generation only works for like small parts. Yeah, it claims procedural generation. The problem is like, what it really does for procedural generation is it just kind of changes the um, the map. Which suit am I wearing? Are you wearing the torn suit? Yeah, I am. Uh, which I think is fine. These people are still pretty grubby. Yeah, roguelikes, sandboxes, and RTSs, strategy games, benefit from procedural generation. Story games rarely do. Uh, main problem with story games is like, if you don't have it be procedurally generated... Have you been sleeping alright? Sometimes I hear horsemen at night. The Bye. Fun, okay, um... But like, really, the procedural generation just kind of changes the map a little bit. It's all falling apart. The center cannot hold. And I would love to see, you know, more focus in handcrafting. Because then you can actually have detail. You can have all these characters. Like, look, this guy is literally just like the same face as this guy, but one's darker skinned and the other one has facial hair. And then you just kind of switch out the clothing a little bit. Like, straight up, these guys are- all of these people are twins. And, like, they're just gonna mill around whining. And, like, what's a good example? I mean, I guess an easy example is Vampire. For all of Vampire's faults, it was- it had NPCs that you kind of cared about, and then NPCs that you didn't. And I thought that was actually quite successful. Because you could kind of- you knew who you wanted to talk to, and you actually could learn, like, a decent amount about them and stuff like that. What Whereas this is like... Beast slouches towards who are you? The house of power. Executive power must derive from a mandate from the masses. Who are any of these people? Alright. I left. Alright, whatever. What am I doing? Okay, these are kidnappers. Apparently.
I, I'm kind of confused as to what's going on here. I apparently was concealed. That's weird. I... Yeah. I'm sequence breaking. That's fine. Sequence breaking is fine. Frame rate, not so fine, but whatever. Hello! It's nothing personal. The umbrella of death. Umbrella- the umbrella is scary. I love it. Okay, I think the last one's up in that tower. So we should probably just pull out the umbrella of death and sneak. Alternatively, no sneak. Umbrella of death! Umbrella of death! Well, that's for knocking down my blocks in nursery. Okay, suck it, Wally Brimble. All right, so what do we what do we have around here? Oh, there's stew. Oops, I'm concealed apparently. No, I'm not. Let's get out of here. Well, things are happening. We had first row, row seats for, the, for spectating the invisible dingle dog. Whoops. Hey. Another pocket expansion. Uh, let's see, do we have any more around here? Supposedly, there's somebody that got kidnapped. Maybe they don't spawn in until later. I don't know. Okay, uh, let's see, hot cuisine. What? Uh, is there... Get the get the key. There's a cage. Talk to the chef. Oh, it's in s what? Oh, oh. How do I get in there? What did I do? <laughs> How did I do this? How do I get in there? Okay, there are stairs in the tower. Okay. Gotcha. What the f... What? Okay. That was confusing. So where, where's the... Oh. Stairs are back here, hidden behind everything else. All right. Hello, person that looks like every other person we've run into. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come back any time. I'll make you something fantastic. My savior. Here, I've been cooking. Taste this. What you think? Yummy, isn't it? I ought to drop by someday when I'm in the neighborhood. Stew would be nice, even if it is made out of fungus and leaves. I get this open? I guess I can pick the lock from the inside. Anyone find it weird that the main character knows everyone he's beating up and has personalized things to say after each of them is unconscious? What the? Oh. Okay. My savior! Here! I've been cooking. Taste this. What you think? Yummy, isn't it? So he just lives and works down here. Uh, Alright. That was confusing. We would have thought there was like a quest giver that would give us that one, but it just kind of happened. 